Chester, we get all four seasons, but how would you feel if we didn't have four months of warm weather and sunshine? As part of Weather Week, meteorologist Josh Nichols takes a look back at the year without summer. Imagine if after a long Rochester winter, summer was simply canceled. And instead, summer felt, well, more like winter. In 1816, this was not fiction. Instead, it was a harsh fact for many across the Northern Hemisphere. And it all started in 1815 with the eruption of Mount Tambora, a volcano nearly halfway around the world. And it threw so much dust and sulfuric acid into the atmosphere, high into the stratosphere, in fact, that it went all around the world and affected the temperatures in the Northern Hemisphere by close to a full degree centigrade. The disaster that followed had many consequences globally and locally. And the year became known as the year without a summer or 1800 and froze to death. Just take a look at these old newspaper articles. There are mentions of a June snowfall in Geneva and the need for heavy winter coats in Canandaigua. This account from an article in a July 1816 edition of the Cortland Republican really captures the moment. The author writing, I can find no person who has ever seen snow in June. Great coats and mittens are almost as generally worn as in January, and fire is indispensable. Different ones? Wayne County historian Peter Evans has many records of how our area's settlers making their way here from New England dealt with the conditions which included severe crop loss. So, let's see, so 1816, that would be right here. The last big freeze was in August, but then September started the winter freeze, and the plants would start to come up, and then freeze would come in and kill everything so they go back out till it up again plan again some people went through as many as four of these exercises but things that were vital like grains wheats corn particularly corn just did not survive local weather diaries are just one example of a living relic of that cold summer the others live on through some pretty famous stories from authors of the time that you probably know one of them, Mary Shelley wrote, was called Frankenstein. The other was a short story about a vampire, which was then adapted by someone else back in England into the famous story of Dracula. And yes, there's also a living legacy of that time right here in Monroe County, all because of a farmer named Thomas Ramsdell, who was just one of a few who could actually grow corn. And, um, people from all around would come there to get seed corn from him, and they bought it from him. And they were very religious people. And they remember the, um, the passage from the Bible. And the Israelites uh, went to Egypt to actually gather grain. And so when it came to time to actually name the community in Egypt, uh, they basically named it Egypt after this particular uh, um, incident that happened in 1816. So the next time you're upset by a cool, rainy summer day in Rochester, just cozy up with a good horror story. And remember, it could be worse and has been. Oh, Josh Nichols, right. News 8.